Hold on a second, I've just realised I can't actually see anything! Mm. Anyways, we're head down towards the first corner here at the Nurburgring going at a very, very steady 115 miles an hour as we head down towards what was the old Castrola. Break him out, we lock up, we lock up and the guy on the outside looks like he might be about to mug us as we go up towards the Mercedes Arena, put there for two pounds and two. We've still got lit. Oh no, we're being backed out of the way. We're down to second. Oh no, we're down to third now. This is not looking good so far, but never mind as we head down towards turn three. Still in the arena. Oh, and we're down to fourth now. This is not good. As we go through the Kumo curve, we get bad well out of the way. Into where the old castle last will have been as we head down towards turn six. Unable to see where we're going, but we somehow managed to get back into P4. Nearly down through the Ford curve. It's one of my favourite corners, this summer track. Um, what is one of my favourite circuits? And we head down towards the Dunlop curve, which in one of these things takes forever. Compared to nothing, I'll you there in three seconds or something like that. Of course, I am exaggerating for effect, but that's just the way it is. As we have a nice exit out of the turn eight, and we absolutely go into the darkness. As I head up towards the Schumacher S. Can we go flat out? No, we have to have a slight lift, but we only score four miles an hour. But in these cars, momentum is absolutely everything, unfortunately. We head down towards turn 11 at the top of the hill. Kind of that Schumacher and Vettel got wrong in the German Grand Prix four years ago. We head down towards the big curve. Now, what we're going to do is going to fast forward to the second lap because not a lot happened as we go through the Schumacher S again. Still in fourth position, so that's still a very good thing. As we go up the top of the hill, oh, we see somebody in the mirrors, we see somebody in the mirrors. Will we get overtaken in towards turn 11? Yes, we do. We get pushed out wide. We ignore the concept of track limits. We go through the big curve and we try and redeem our position, but we get not kill up by the guy in front. Will that hold us up as we head towards Hasenbach Bergen? We'll just call it turn 13 because the German isn't brilliant. So we're still in P5, getting a nice slick stream. I said my gear edge is up too long, but never mind. Rafa just covered it now, so head into the mid all she can. Got it very wrong, got a huge oversteer moment into the braking zone. Still managed to all P5, but looks like we're getting mugged into the Coca Cola. Will we? Will we? Oh, we have a huge, huge moment. We managed to clap the barrier and lose three more positions. That wasn't very going very well. The Coca Cola was very, very dramatic in the first lap, I didn't even show it to you. But man, as we go in towards the last lap, in the slipstream of the guy in front, trying to redeem myself and get P7 in this Formula Rookie race. So I set up for no apparent reason to go through the old Castro leg. Obviously, isn't there anymore, so we go through towards turn two. The Mercedes Arena yet again. Trying everything I can to get in front of the guy ahead. Well, leaves the back again under braking. This car's very twitchy under braking, and that's even though I've dived some understeering to this thing because the handling mod on public cars is very oversteering. Or if you're a NASCAR fan, it's very loose. And then let's go through the RTL straight in towards turn six, trying to carry as much car speed as I can to have a go into the fog curve, but that isn't happening. Oh, come on, you're as bad as Jeff in Formula 1, mate. You're as bad as, you're as bad as, you're as bad as. I know how to do defend, defending. Oh, I don't know how to speak anymore. But we'll gloss over that to go through the Schumacher S again. This time, flat out, you can see it on the throttle trace. Managed to go over 100 miles now at the top of the hill that time. We to go through turn 11, ignoring track limits yet again. Then again, that just makes me like all the United Sports Car drivers at uh, the Circuit of the Americas last weekend, so it's all okay. As we go through the back straight, we would have DRS and Mr. Zeth one, but we're not going to because it's Formula Rookie. As we go through turn 13, up towards the v Dodge again, can I make a last chance move? Uh, no, that's not happening. Trying to keep the car under control, as you can tell, he was a very nervous car there. As I head towards the Coca Cola curve, no chance of a miracle happening. Trying to keep the car under control, slightly over on the stairs, we go towards the finish line. 
in complete darkness, and there we go, across the line. That was a tough race. No headlights, and so it's only partly floodlit, and someone managed to make it towards P8. I think I will still take that as an achievement, because it's not easy. You can try it on Gran Turismo 5 or 6 in an F1 car on those games, or another car that hasn't got headlights. It's tricky. Or even try it on Project Cars. It's not easy. It's quite scary. Particularly if you've seen any videos about the low C23 at night on Forza 6. Although, if you, if you are playing Forza, you're an idiot because you've got an Xbox. So I think I shall just leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time.